On this episode of Game Shack, it's been a year since Arcade 1UP announced the release of Fast and the Furious, and eight months since the release of Time Crisis. So I asked the question, where are the new games? All right, let's talk all about it, coming up next. Hey everybody, welcome on back into the Game Shack. I'm your host, JDV, for Evil Genius Entertainment. All right, if you dig this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help a small channel like this. And if you haven't, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when videos like this get released. All right, so yeah, it's been a year since Fast and the Furious was announced by Arcade 1UP. Uh, arguably, that was the last hit cab, or uh, at the very least, the last cab that people were actually willing to pay retail price for. Time Crisis, I don't think, sold in any kind of great numbers, not at that $700 price point. And so it really, it's Fast and the Furious, plus some of those deluxe cabs that really have had to kind of carry the flag for Arcade 1UP in the past year. And in that time, we have come to the realization since last year that Arcade 1UP is a mere shadow of the company it once was. Uh, when they would put out cab after cab after cab, each cab with a new design, cabs with, with guns or the flight sticks like Tron, or any other kind of more complicated, daring type game. They just simply have stopped making games like that. Yes, they have re-released a game like Star Wars, but not in the XL form factor and not with Wi-Fi enabled. In fact, all of the games really that they've announced since Time Crisis and Fast and Furious have simply been retreads of other units that they've already put out. So the exact same PCB, usually the same screen, and just essentially without a riser and a tilted screen. And I'm not knocking them for that. That's what everybody asked for, but they were asking for it three and four years ago. It's not something that necessarily is gonna get people who've been in this hobby for a while excited, not in almost mid 2024. And yeah, it'll get some new people who've just discovered that these things exist, like when they see Pac-Man at Costco, like in the XL form factor, say, that kind of thing is going to move. But realistically, they've stopped making Pinball, they've stopped making Tron, they've stopped making Dra Dragon's Lair, they have stopped making the sort of niche cabs that a lot of us got excited for. And really, I don't think that we're gonna see anything new. And if you doubt that, just think about this. They leaked Alien vs. Predator. Still no word on whether or not that's gonna happen. Probably not. No word on whether or not we're ever gonna see Robotron or Smash TV, another cab that has long been rumored to come out. No word on track and feel, and you'd think that they were ever gonna release a game like that. It would be during the upcoming Summer Olympics. We haven't heard anything about that, nor have we heard anything about Street Fighter Alpha, Mortal Kombat 4, or any of the other actually could be emulated on their hardware type games. We've heard absolutely nothing. So the question is, is Arcade 1UP going to put out a new cab in 2024, at least a cab that is not some sort of a retread? And more and more, it is looking like, no, they're not going to. They've been almost completely radio silent in terms of their interaction with the fan base on YouTube or otherwise. If you go to their coming soon page on their website, it just has uh, X-Men, Golden Tee, and a stool for X-Men. Not exactly the kind of thing that is going to have people going bonkers to beat down the doors to buy these products. Again, those products are ones that essentially already existed with no significant upgrades, no additional games, no additional Wi-Fi ability, no, none of that kind of thing. And when you think about the games that have already exist, like there's no spectator mode on a lot of these games, a lot of the gl glitches that exist on older games have not been addressed. There's been no firmware updates for anything arcade one related in quite some time. When you contrast that to a company like Ad Games, which is constantly putting out firmware upgrades, sometimes very minor, sometimes not even that great, but at least they are clearly putting a portion of their budget towards fixing and upgrading older products. When you look at Arcade 1UP, they're donating none of their time, money, and effort to that sort of thing. It's a lot like watching a slow motion car crash, isn't it? No new announcements, no firmware, nothing to indicate that they're developing no hardware. There's been no announcements of any kind, no kind of like, hey, we just bought a whole bunch of this new chips, which should allow us to do games like Virtual Fighter or Jurassic Park or some of these other things that we want to see. We're not seeing any announcements of new hardware, new titles, new firmware, 
or anything else like that. No announcements of collaborations with, say, movie stars or anything like that. There's no tie-in to the Olympics. There's just absolutely nothing to indicate that we are going to see a new game from Arcade 1UP in 2024. You know, Arcade 1UP's business strategy has got to come in question here a little bit because clearly they've relied upon these big box stores to move their product. Their entire business model appears to be tied to that. So on almost every front that you look at from Arcade 1UP, from the lack of announcement from new titles, the lack of new firmware, lack of announcements of collaborations with uh, movie stars or something like that, a lack of announcements of hardware upgrades. Uh, when you start to pull all of that stuff together, it seems very likely the Arcade 1UP is at best only going to tread water and essentially just become a company that puts out retreads of a few different type of games. In fact, I would say this to wrap up the episode, if you have an interest in one of the deluxe cabs that came out in 2023, you really might want to think about picking it up, particularly if it's a more niche cab because they're not going to be making any more of those cabs either. Really the only cab you can count on them making if they survive the year into 2025 is Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man Class 81, some variety of that. Because every other indication, released right up to now as I shoot this, is that Fast and the Furious and Time Crisis are gonna be the last two new titles that we see from Arcade One. Well, let me know down below. Do you think I'm uh, just full of it here? Do you think, no, no, we're gonna hear some announcements here pretty soon. We are gonna hear about Track and Field, or Robotron, Smash TV, Alien vs. Predator, Street Fighter Alpha, MK4, one of the q -Bert. Some new title like that is going to be announced before June 1st. You know, when I was on uh, Danny's Corner Cage show, I asked you know the guys on there whether they thought we'd hear announcement before June 1st, and everybody except me said, yes, we would. Well, June 1st is now 45 days away. No, it's even less than 45 days away. So a month and a half to we're at the halfway mark of this year and nothing. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode. I wish it was a happier episode, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, please give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. It really does help a small channel like this. You could buy me a coffee if you really want to help me out. Love each other. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.